you're probably wondering and you're right uh, the multiliters could also be annotated in this lesson we're going to take a look at that uh, how to make predictably sized multiliters now on my screen I've got an architectural example this is a floor plan for a uh, proposed medical office we're going to create some multiliters for this exam room here uh, but before that let's take a look at the uh, my our intended uh, layout saying that because uh, there are two layouts here one of those uh, is the overall layout overall a layout for overall size of the medical office and another one is uh, for that exam room and this is where my I want my multi leaders to so let's zoom a little and see what the scale is the scale is half of an inch uh, is uh, one foot okay let's go back to the model space from here on we have to go and create a multi-liter style I'm going to click on this one here and let's click on new and click annotative multi-liter and we start with the standard one and we have to make sure that we check this annotative uh, checkbox there close and we can change the uh, properties here and any properties that we want to change here we have to know that we're changing it for our uh, print the sheet so now we, that we know these properties are the or these sizes are paper sizes come here and change these uh, first of all the arrowhead change to 7 inch and let's go to the leader structure and I'll change this landing this is the landing size that I want to change And let's go to the content and make our text side a little smaller that's great come down and click OK and notice the uh, annotative icon appears just beside our annotated multi-liter style that we just created and uh, that's uh, because uh, it want to show us that uh, from now on our multi-liter is going to size itself uh, to match our plot of scale so uh, knowing that we're going to close this for now and let's create some multilators but before that let's uh, change this annotation of scale the one we want is uh, one half of an inch is equal to one foot great let's create some callouts right now launch the let's turn this off for now shift and right click and select the nearest from there on going to put it right here that looks good let's uh, create another one this time for this one I'm going to shift and right click and say nearest this looks good let's go back to our style or to our layout here as you see the text appear perfectly in our uh, layout here now let's do a scientific experiment well these texts uh, appear on the, the other layout the answer no they won't that's because annotative uh, styles would only show up on the 
layouts that they are intended to. Let's go back to our layouts here. From now on, it would be a great idea to uh, create your multi-leaders and annotative multi-leaders. If you do this, your multi-leaders will be legible and they will be consistently sized on all of your plots.